Okay, handsome man. Joseph, what are we building here? Uh, no. <laughs> what are we making, Hans honey? Strawberry bed. A strawberry bed. So tell me a little bit about what you did right here. Here. digging it up, so we're going to kill the grass and we're just going to make individual holes where we're going to put the strawberries. And you staked out with a piece of rebar. Ah, it's a poopy diaper! And then another piece of rebar over here so that our rows are nice and straight. So the hope is to do these strawberry beds and then they're holding them in just with these fabric, not fabric, but um, garden pins. Can you show me the the garden stakes that you're using? Yo, show me the garden stakes. So they look like this. We're just using these to hold down the cardboard. The fence is holding it in the back. So the fence is holding it in and we're kind of I'm slipping it underneath the fence. And Sean mowed as close as he could to all that. And then we're going to hold down the cardboard with these metal stakes. These little U-shaped stakes. Wait, Joe, no. And uh, we're lucky enough they go straight in. And then we're going to cover this with a little bit of topsoil. Dig holes where we're planting the strawberries. And um, add a little bit of amendment to the strawberry hole and then cover the whole thing with straw. Um, back home we used wood chips but they're a little bit harder to find here. So we also set this up so that Sean is going to make this like a rounded corner so it's easy for him to just mow around. He doesn't have to you know back up the mower or anything. He'll be able to trim right around the edge and then um, we're hoping that they'll eventually go to this area and if we have to add more to cardboard and expand our strawberry beds as we get more runners we can move out in this direction um, but it should be a pretty good sized strawberry bed and we have about five six seven i think somewhere between five to seven different varieties of strawberries right now so we should be getting strawberries throughout the year uh, throughout the summer rather than throughout the season. So I'm going to run out. I'm actually on my way to go get some worm castings and when I come back, if I know Sean, I'll have most of this laid out and then I'll do an updated video later on as we keep going on this, pro this uh, project. But this is, we've done this before. I, we haven't done it here. But this worked out really well for us and it's a pretty easy way to set up a new garden bed without having to rototill it's just to kill all that grass you can lay underneath it like uh leaf mold like which is just like decomposing leaf matter or compost or something underneath there um, worm castings but essentially that's going to kill all that grass and that's going to bring all your organic life your worms and everything up to the surface where they're going to eat all that decomposing um, organic matter and they're going to help to till up that soil anyway and create airflow and tunnels and things um, so that we don't have to rototill this huge area and then we'll be planting strawberries here so this is the project of the day. Sean's putting his strawberry beds and I'm going to get worm castings. And Clara built a coat rack today so that we had a place to put some of our overalls. All right, I'll be posting an updated video soon.